Recently, I saw some pictures of houses that were structurally unsafe because of problems with their foundations. Over the years, moisture, termites, earthquakes and neglect had made these homes unstable and without a solid foundation they were at risk of collapsing. The pictures reminded me of Jesus' words in Matthew 7. Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. In the message, Eugene Peterson paraphrased what Jesus was talking about in this chapter. These words I speak to you are not incidental additions to your life, homeowner improvements to your standard of living. They are foundational words, words to build a life on. If you work these words into your life, you are like a smart carpenter who built his house on solid rock. Rain poured down, the river flooded, a tornado hit, but nothing moved that house. It was fixed to the rock. But if you just use my words in Bible studies and don't work them into your life, you are like a stupid carpenter who built his house on the sandy beach. When a storm rolled in and the waves came up, it collapsed like a house of cards. We can memorize scripture, download a Bible app on our phones, or display Jesus' words on the walls of our homes. These are great things to do to remind us of God's teaching. But his word should never just be an accessory or decoration in our lives, along with the other stuff we've accumulated over the years. No, God's word should be the foundation on which we build our relationships, our careers, our families, our churches and our ministries. In John chapter 13, we read that Jesus said, now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. His teaching, his wisdom and his instructions should inform and inspire everything we think, say and do. In verse 1 of Psalm 127, Solomon takes this thought even further. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. If we allow God to be the architect, the structural engineer and the construction manager as we build our lives on his foundation, we will have a place to rest, opportunities to share God's blessings with others and security in the storms. Like our houses, our lives require regular maintenance too. You may need God's help to repair a broken relationship. Or maybe your faith has been weakened by struggles and trials, and you need God to retrofit your foundation. Or perhaps you need to ask him to help you rebuild your life on the foundation of his word. Whatever the state of your house, ask him to help you put his words into action in your life today.